Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and this is the Kawasaki Z900 RS Kawasaki's effort to raise the Z1900 legend back to life from its glorious ashes Back in 1972, the Z1 was the first large capacity Japanese four cylinder motorcycle to use the double overhead camshaft system. Having set 46 AMA and FIM speed records back then, the Z1900 was nicknamed the New York Steak because it was the biggest and the best. And now, for the bikers of the digital age, Kawasaki resurrect this timeless hero to give us a glimpse of what the true legend of Z1 is all about. The bike gets premium quality paint, the iconic teardrop fuel tank, retro style pleated seat and the dual tone color scheme that highlights the original legend of the Z1. The stainless steel exhaust system with buffed finish gets double walled headers and a short megaphone silencer which adds in a touch of elegance to this classic beast. While the round headlamp brings in the classic feel, the multiple LED lighting elements inside highlight the modern touch. The multifunction cockpit gets the twin dials with chrome surrounds reminiscent of the 70s legend while the multi-information display in between offers all the info we hope for. The spoke type machined cast wheels highlight the high level of detailing and craftsmanship that has gone into resurrecting this timeless legend. Talking a little bit about the technology that has gone into reincarnating the retro sport legend, the double wall construction of the header pipes contribute to offering strong low to mid range torque. The bike features the same 948cc inline 4mm from the Z900, but here it puts out 111 PS of max power at 8500 rpm and 98.5 Nm of max torque at 6500 rpm. We get a 6 speed gearbox. The engine promises butter smooth power delivery with intense acceleration. Serving as the perfect foundation for this timeless beauty is a lightweight trellis frame that promises to offer superb handling and amazing agility. Add to this the ideal seating posture with perfectly sorted out riding ergonomics and you have a machine that's just as much as comfortable as much as it is insane. Beautiful as it is, this piece of artwork also gets all the modern day tech like fully adjustable 41mm inverted front forks. At the back we get the horizontal backlink suspension that offers a perfect blend of comfort and performance. Performing braking duties are dual 300mm discs with radially mounted 4 piston monoblock calipers up front and a single 250mm disc with single piston caliper at the back. Add to this the lightweight ABS system from Nissan and we have enough stopping power to tame this ancient life form into submission anytime, any place. And yes, we also do get two levels of traction control which we can turn off completely as well. Talking about the tires, we get Dunlop tires with a 120 by 70 tire up front and a 180 by 55 tire at the back. Other relevant specs include a tank capacity of 17 liters and a ground clearance of 130 mm. Seat height is 835mm and weighing in at 215kg wet, the bike is anything but lightweight. The bike does feel a bit pricey being priced at Rs 15.3 lakhs ex showroom but Kawasaki want to keep this exclusive to a few select souls who respect this timeless legend for what it is and please note that the Z900RS is a CBU and not a CKD unit which means no compromise in terms of quality whatsoever. Well I guess this concludes my quick overview video of the Kawasaki Z900RS. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.